Microsoft collect data from their users through a program called telemetry system. They collect data on Windows operating system, Microsoft programs, and third-party programs. It also collects data on some user behavior. They use this information to improve products and help diagnose issues as well as to recommend apps and features to the end user. But you can limit and turn off telemetry system from gathering information. I will go through few ways how you can improve or limit telemetry on Windows devices. One way you can limit the Microsoft telemetry from gathering information is going to the start menu, go to settings, under privacy and security, you will see an option called diagnostic and feedback. If you click on that, you will see few um, telemetry data gathering options. One of them will say diagnostic data. If you turn that off, it will also turn off the improve inking and typing. So if I turn it off, it'll turn off this one as well. But if you would like to send some diagnostic data to Microsoft to improve their product, you can keep that on. And yet, if you don't want them to know your typing or any other uh, input data, such as if you have a device where you can write uh, on the pad and it'll getting inputted into the Microsoft device, such as a touchpad, you can actually turn that off, but keep the diagnostic data on if you prefer to do that. So for me, I'm just gonna turn both diagnostic data and so the improved inking also automatically can get turned off anyway. Then the next one is called tailored experience. You can turn that off right here, uh, which is where they recommend apps and sometimes even ads. They clearly says right here, even ads based on your user behavior. So I'm gonna turn that off. And you can also turn off the diagnostic data viewer. What it does actually, it stores some of the diagnostic data that being sent to the Microsoft through these programs on your hard drive. And you can turn it off since you're not gonna use them anyway, if you turn all these features off. And finally, you can actually delete the diagnostic data that has been stored on your computer if you want to get that space back. And so this is one way you can turn off diagnostic information from being sent to Microsoft through telemetry. Another way you can disable the telemetry system is to use group policy editor built into Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices. This is usually used by Microsoft Windows enterprise systems as well as the Microsoft Windows Server, but it is still also available on your Microsoft Windows desktop operating system. To do that, what you need to do, you need to go to start and open run command by typing run, or you can use the Windows key and R, and that will get you to the run command. And on the run command uh, window, under open, type G, P edit dot msc gp edit dot msc which is stand for group policy editor and click ok it will open the group policy editor for windows systems and on the left hand side you will see the option uh, the menu item called local computer policy just underneath it you will have the computer configuration under computer configuration Expand the administrative templates. Then expand the option called the Windows Components. And under Windows Components, expand the data collection and preview builds. So if you go down in here, uh, so if you go down, uh, right here, it's called the data collection and preview build. And just click on it not expand, just click on it. And in here, you will see few policies. So for example, in here, there is an option called allow diagnostic data. If you double click on it, it'll open that configuration uh, policy. And 
you can either enable it or disable it or not configured in this case. So having not configured means it's not sending any data, but you can also just simply put it into disable and click apply. If you click OK, now it's disabled, so it's not sending any diagnostic data. Another way you can disable Microsoft telemetry is to use the Windows registry editor. To do that, you can go to start menu and again open the run command by typing run or you can use the Windows and R key and it will open the run command. Then under open, type regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, regedit, stand for registry editor. Then click OK and it will give you a UAC warning where you need the administrative privileges to open the registry editor and click yes. And on the registry editor, on the left hand side, click on the H key local machine and expand it. Then under software, expand the software section. Under policies, expand the policies section. Under Microsoft, expand the Microsoft section. And in Windows, expand that Windows section as well. And finally, under data collection, uh, so if you go down the Windows list, there's option called data collection, select that uh, registry section and on the right hand side right click go to new and select the D word 32 bit value and here we're gonna type in allow telemetry so T E L E M E T R Y. Make sure your spelling is correct because if the spelling is incorrect, this is not going to work. So it's allow telemetry. A L L O W T E L E M E T R Y. Double click on that. And under data value, we're going to select zero. So we're going to leave it at zero. That means do not allow telemetry. So once you are done this part, what you need to do actually, you need to restart your computer, reboot your computer. Now the telemetry system will be turned off. So that's another way you can turn off your telemetry from your Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices. Just go into the registry key, this location, and adding this item, this registry key called allow telemetry and setting it to zero. Another way you can disable the telemetry system is to disable it from the services console. To do that, go to start menu and open run. You can either type run from start or go use uh, Windows key and R as I mentioned a couple of times before. And then type services.msc. So it's services with the S at the end, dot MSC and click OK and it will open the service con services console or services menu window for Microsoft Windows. On here, if you look at the list of items, if you go down until uh, you see the option called connected user experience and telemetry. So right here. So the option called the connected user experiences and telemetry. Double click on that and you'll see it is currently running and it is set to automatic. And you can change this startup from automatic to disable and click apply and okay. Now the telemetry system has been disabled through the services. So this is actually a really good way to, uh, you know, making sure that the system is completely shut off. Because as you can see, it still was running even after turning them off uh, through the previous steps. So this completely disabled the telemetry. Another way to do this is to use the command prompt. For that, go to start menu, type CMD, which will give you the command prompt, but don't open it by pressing here. 
instead click the option called run as administrator and it will give you the UAC and if you have administrative privileges click yes and it will open up your command prompt and then enter uh, the following commands sc config diag track start equal disable and click enter and it will give you a success message and the other thing you need to enter is the sc config dm w a p p u s service that means d m w a push service start equal disable and click enter press enter and it will also give you a success message and this should disable your telemetry on your windows operating system finally one more way to disable the Microsoft telemetry is to use the task scheduler to do that go to start menu type task scheduler open the application on the right hand menu expand the task scheduler library expand Microsoft expand Windows and you'll see an option called customer experience improvement program select the customer experience improvement program and you'll see the task called consolidator and it should be sitting as ready or running right click and select uh, disable so this will disable your tel Microsoft telemetry on the task scheduler program and that's everything and I hope you learn how to disable Microsoft telemetry from your Windows operating systems and Windows servers and I hope you like it and please subscribe and have a nice day.